all you savvy naturalistas, what is up and welcome back to my channel and another episode of Battle of the Deuce Skincare Edition. Dun dun dun! But hold up, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Make sure you thumbs up this video if you would like to keep up with me. Make sure you're following me on all my social media sites. Make sure you check out SavvyNaturalisa.com for all your skincare needs. Miracle Glow Oil as well as Lara Mar Lux. I just put some on my lips. That's why it's open. So I'm trying to not let it fly all out. But anyways, in this episode of Battle of the Dupes, we will be duping. Oh, I about that. <laughs> I put the Walgreens version up. But we will be duping this uh, Pill Off Cucumber Mask by Freeman Beauty versus the Walgreens version. Now, you know we had a catastrophe. <laughs> we had a catastrophe with uh, the... Avocado Freeman Mud Mask. Walgreens just copied the whole ingredient list and then just practically threw it together. And they didn't even test it or anything, in my opinion. Hopefully, they get that formula right. But that's here nor there. I picked up this one and I wanted to try it. So let's compare and contrast the both of them. So the first, I would say, four ingredients are pretty much the same: water, polyvinyl alcohol. Um, SD alcohol is in the Freeman one. SD alcohol is in the um, Walgreens one, propylene glycol. Uh, this one has banana. Oh, okay. Then it has banana fruit, all the good extracts. Let's go all the way to the end. Yeah, they pretty much just copied them. That's <laughs> to you that's like um uh, you know just copying someone and just putting a different label on it you know how people say youtubers copy each other and just say something different in the taglines it's pretty much <laughs> it's pretty much what walgreens did as always um let's watch them to see if they're different i'm trying to take the tag off as i'm talking to you guys but let's just see you guys i love this i love this product so much i just love it but let's just put it on our uh, face so this is the uh, Freeman one uh, it smells like cucumbers so this is what it looks like I'm gonna do a close-up cuz y'all know we, we swatch on here so this is the Freeman one this is what it looks like that's how it glides nicely oh it smells like cucumbers and this one is the um, Walgreens now this one does have a slight a uh, bluish tint to it the Walgreens one I don't know if you guys could have seen it but it has a slight bluish tint to it oh my god and it smells I mean y'all know okay this is what the Walgreens <laughs> this is what the... I can't remember Walgreens you at the Caribbean messy oh okay this <laughs> This is what the Walgreens one smells like. Y'all know Baby Magic Lotion? Okay, it's a lighter version of that mixed with Johnson & Johnson's Baby Lotion. <laughs> oh my God. This is a Kobe messed up. Ooh, okay. <laughs> I want to show y'all the blue tint. So this is what the blue tint, can y'all see it? Okay, so it is a little blue. I just wanted to let you guys know that I wasn't lying. It's a little blue. Even, I put some in. I'm gonna turn the light down so y'all can see. See, it's a little blue. So I wasn't lying, it's blue. <laughs> okay, so let's just start putting them on our face. Side note, I'm using my Hanukkah brush. I just want to say that Hanukkah mask was really worth the money. And not only that, you get a good brush to use for your mask after. So $24 with Hanukkah goes a long way. Even though they give you a little packet, it was enough for the big head. And it went a long way. Hanukkah, I am not mad at you. Okay, we're going to apply the free, uh, the, uh, the, <laughs> the baby magic pill off mask by Walgreens. Walgreens okay and I also wanted to talk about price point with um the Walgreens one now 
I looked at my receipt and I looked online. Studio Beauty 365 by Walgreens. They don't call it in, in the store. They call it Walgreens We Reawaken. This is their reawakening face mask, but this is Walgreens. They are literally selling this mask for $4. $3.55. What in, you know, I'm mad because, you know, you could get Freeman for the same price. I would have thought Walgreens would have been cheaper. But you know what I noticed? I don't, I went to Walgreens and I don't see any of Freeman's stuff in Walgreens. So maybe they just decided to do that just to say, hey, we're going to sell it because we don't sell y'all stuff in our, our Walgreens. So I, that's what I, oh my God, my oil fell anyway. So that's what I'm under the assumption that the reason why they're doing it is because they don't sell Freeman at all in their stores at all. I haven't seen it. Have y'all seen it at y'all local Walgreens? Let me know. Okay, so I just finished the Walgreens side of my face. Now I'm gonna do the Freeman Beauty. I do wanna say this, that I had to wash my brush off because I don't want anything contaminating Walgreens bougie product contaminating this side of the the good stuff the the name brand stuff freeman okay i don't need walgreens contaminating this my face y'all i mean it just smells like nice cucumbers i mean it smells with a little tinge of the piney of uh, polyvinyl alcohol you can smell just a little bit of it but it's a nice refreshing cucumber scent walgreens out here giving you baby magic this <laughs> baby magic lotion a lighter version it smelled just horrible i didn't like the scent i don't know have you guys ever been to walgreens and smelt it let me know if y'all like that scent because i didn't like it and this one i will say glides on much nicer i don't know if you guys have been noticing but it just glides on much nicer you guys can we talk i want to talk about the whole situation with uh jeffree star's blue blood and how popular that palette is like literally that is a very popular palette i was looking on ebay because i just randomly like to browse ebay like just google the blue blood palette and literally it goes for $52 I seen it on Poshmark ad for a thousand dollars and eBay they are selling it for $500 can you believe his products are literally going for $500 on eBay if you can't get the product are y'all buying that can anyone tell me in the comments down below did they buy that 500 the palette for $500 and did not wait to get it for like Four? I'm just curious because, whoa, <laughs> that's a pretty, that's rent money. <laughs> that's rent. Okay, you guys, so both masks are on my face. Like, I can't tell which is which. Can you guys tell which is which? I can't tell. Which one you think is which? I mean, you guys know, but can you tell? So I'm going to do a close-up. This is uh, Walgreens, and this is Freeman. I don't know, Walgreens. I may give you the benefit of the doubt, but you know I had to go in because of the avocado one you tried to do. <laughs> but anyways, I'm going to let it dry, and then we could be back to talk about it. Talk about it. Talk about it. Okay, so it's been about 10 to 20 minutes, and it's officially dry, and now we're going to peel it. Lord help us. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh my god it's stuck together you guys i don't even know so i guess we're gonna have to tell by the review of what my face looks like i feel like i'm shedding all the old skin out with the end oh oh out my hair <laughs> i was about to say out with oh 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 wow Okay. Okay, we pit we oh 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 okay. I'm gonna have to rinse that out because it's near the edges. Is it near the edges, y'all? It's near the edges. <laughs> it's just it's near the edges. Look at it's near the edges. <gasps> now I will say, oh oh, this is near the edges too. Oh 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 oh. Now I will say this that my face on this side, the mask in itself is very moisturizing compared to the Walgreens. Walgreens, you know what? I don't know, but I'm, that's all I feel like. 
this side of my face is still nice and moisturizing maybe the mask didn't dry completely but it still has like a nice cooling wet feel versus the Walgreens side it's kind of dryish like chicken dry chicken oh I got it all on my neck my neck look black Ooh, wow look at my neck look dark black y'all see that that ring around my neck <laughs> Oh my God, okay, here's the last piece for the Freeman size. Okay, so the mask is officially off my face. Now it says rinse for warm water, so that's what I'm gonna do, but I wanna do a close-up so you guys can see. This is the Equate Beauty, I mean not Equate, but Walgreen, and this is the Freeman side. Which one you guys think looks better? So far, I will say, looking at the camera, the Freeman side to me looks much better even with all this right here on my face it still looks much better okay you guys so i'm back and my face is officially rinsed the freeman mask is off as well as the walgreens brand studio beauty 365 aka reawaken <laughs> walgreens mask is off and this is what it looks like this is the wall i mean walgreens version and this is the Freeman version. What do you guys think? Can you guys see? So what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments down below. So looking at my face just off GP and it's still wet on this side and this side is drying. I will say the Freeman side looks way better. Now I will say the product personally in my opinion the product does perform the same it's about the same it was not a catastrophe as the avocado versus the avocado i think they did a really great job in formula i will say the fragrance is a hot mess and they need to go back to the drawing board with that baby magic lotion formula fragrance is horrible but that's just my opinion some people like those type of fragrances like some people don't like lavender i love lavender some people don't like rose i like rose fragrance not in perfume but the actual essential oil i love some people like rose fragrances you know it just depends on a person some people like different type of fragrances some people don't don't but i will say all in all it really did smell like baby magic lotion that walgreens cucumber mask was just a mess all in all, though, if I was going to buy a mask, I would just go ahead and buy the Freeman. It's more, it's the same amount, in my opinion. It's about $4 more. I will say, skin performance wise, my personal opinion, my skin looks way better on this side. It's nice and moisturized. This side feels like it's drying out. May not be drying out on camera as quickly, but I could literally feel it drying out my skin. And that could be because of the polyvinyl alcohol. There's an alcohol and it just makes a nice pill off mask. But I will say with performance of the way my skin looks all in all this side looks much better to me in my personal opinion you may not see the moisture but i can still feel the moisture on my skin versus this taking forever to dry why is my side you know why is this side of my face taking so long to dry and this side isn't which is really interesting uh, for walgreens what's going on i still got i uh mask in my eyebrow that's the massive <laughs> so i guess that's another thing it takes it takes forever to clean it out on this side of my face who knows why i don't know but in my personal opinion would i buy this or would i go ahead and just go get freeman i mean if i was at walgreens i probably would buy it but just to be wasting my money on product, I'm going to just go ahead and get the Freeman one. I'm not going to. I mean, you could get it at Winco. Winco sells it. Y'all know Winco. Winco sells the Freeman mask. So, I don't think I would waste my time by the cheap version at Walgreens for $4 when it's the same price at Winco, the Renee brand version. That's just my personal opinion, especially on fragrance alone. You know what? If Walgreens would have added a nice minty cucumber scent to it, I think they would have probably won me over with that alone in the performance of it because the performance of the mask is pretty much the same. But looking at my skin, I will say my skin on this side looks much better, you guys. It's nice and soft versus this side is drying out completely. So if you're very big on moisturizing, make sure you pick up Laramar Elixir at SavvyNaturalista.com. 
So if you're very big on moisturizing, you may just want to pick up the Freeman because it's nice on the face versus the Walgreens version, in my opinion. I really helped you. <laughs> just moisturizing my face, you guys. I love you guys so much. But anyway, Savvy Naturalistas, I really hope you enjoyed this episode of the Battle of the Dupes. You know what? Let's just talk about Walgreens. Walgreens, you have the audacity, the audacity to sit here, copy Walgreens, I mean, copy Freeman's formula, and then sell it for the same amount. At least, <laughs> at least Walmart, at least Walmart has the audacity to just sell it for like two, three dollars versus Neutrogena would be six dollars or let's say, you know, Aveeno. When Walmart copies the product, they add a little bit more to it and then sell it for a little cheaper. Y'all have the audacity to be selling it for the same amount as Freeman Walgreens. What is going on over there? I don't know. <laughs> Side note, I went into a Walgreens the other day and I literally walked in there and I spent $50. Kids are expensive and I just bought her to Sonomi toys, but I'm just like, I went in there spending $50. Walgreens will take your money, honey. All them little coupons. Oh, you be like, oh, two for four. Next thing you walk out of there with $50 worth of stuff. That's here nor there. What I'm saying, they have the audacity to sit there and be selling product for the same amount. At least Walmart and Target be selling it for cheaper. That's all I'm trying to say. Anyways, you guys, I want to thank you so much for watching this episode, Savvy Naturalistas. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Make sure you check out SavvyNaturalista.com for all your skincare needs. And I'll see you in our next episode, our video. And if you'd like to keep up with me, follow me on all my social media sites. Bye, you guys. Mwah.